Well, I haven't seen a manuscript, but uh, I can tell you nothing was ever said to John Bolton, but I have not seen a manuscript. I guess he's writing a book. I have not seen it. Mr. President, we'll talk inside. Mr. President, do you expect the, do you expect the Prime Minister Netanyahu to implement the plan right away in the coming six weeks? Well, I think he's here for a reason, and uh, hopefully that it will be yes. And peace in the Middle East has been long sought for many, many, many years and decades and centuries. And this is an opportunity. We'll see what happens, whatever it is it is. But he's here for a reason. Would you, would, you a green light for would you give a green light for an extension of the, of the Jordan Valley? We're going to we'll announce tomorrow at 12 o'clock. We're going to show a plan. It's been worked on by everybody. Uh, and we'll see whether or not it catches hold. If it does, that'd be great. And if it doesn't, we can live with it, too. But I think it might have a chance. Do you expect Benny Gantz to agree to the plan? Do I expect what? Benny Gantz. Uh, he's coming here today. He'll be here also. And as you know, they're two good competitors. They're fighting it out. Uh, I've been waiting now. This is my third election. We keep waiting and waiting and waiting. So let's go. What kind of a system is that? What about the legation? That's a very strange system you have over there with this guy. Because we have been. We've been, wait we've been talking about this for many months, and so we keep waiting for the election. So that system has to be looked at. Well, what about the allegations that this is an interference with internal politics in Israel? The fact that, uh, well, I think what's happening is uh, one of the reasons that Mr. Gantz is here is for that reason. He's coming, too. So I'm going to speak to him right after this. What is your message to the residents of Judea and Samaria at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Got it? May I say something? Yes. I think, first of all, I'm very honored to be here with you here today, Mr. President. And I look forward to making history with you tomorrow. Uh, and I think we'll talk about the plan. I'll talk about the plan, the vision of peace, which is historic, the President has put forward tomorrow. Today, I just want to say two words. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for Israel, everything you've done for Israel, for uh, uh, recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, for moving your embassy there, for recognizing our sovereignty in the Golan Heights, for recognizing our rights in Judea, Samaria, the heartland of our biblical homeland, for the unprecedented security and uh, intelligence cooperation between our two countries. I think, uh, Mr. President, the list of your support for Israel, the things you've done for Israel since you've become president is very long, but the bottom line is short. You have made our lines stronger than ever. And I look forward in the coming years to make it even stronger with a historic defense treaty that will anchor our alliance for generations. One last thing, one last thing, which I think is important. This is International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And on this day, I'm proud to stand here as the Prime Minister of the one and only Jewish state and thank you for confronting the most anti-Semitic regime on the planet. When you came into office, Iran was on the march. Because of your leadership, Iran is now on the run. You've uh, withdrawn from the dangerous nuclear, uh, nuclear deal. You've slapped on tremendous sanctions. Uh, you have, uh, two weeks ago, you've uh, taken out the most dangerous terrorist on the planet. All those who seek peace, all those who want to fight terrorism, should thank you, Mr. President, for your bold decisions and your bold actions. And on behalf of the State of Israel, I want to thank you for everything you've done for Israel for confronting Iran, and for your extraordinary decisions, your friendship, and your leadership. That's the end of my speech. Trump, the last time I asked you if you were for a two-state solution, are you going to say tomorrow You're going to see very, very quickly. Uh, we're you going to release a plan tomorrow at 12 o'clock. You're going to see for yourself. Okay, we'll see you in South Florida. Thank you. 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 Th